I'm joined by the Zappa brothers, Dweezil and yeah. Amet. And uh, I think these guys are about to dispel the myth that Headbangers Ball is a serious, in-depth interview sort of program because uh, they've got a very funny sense of humor, as we've experienced oh, yeah. before. Oh, yeah. And uh, how are you guys good. doing? We're doing really good. We're happy to be here on this fine family entertainment <laughs> show. <laughs> How about you, Amit? I just think you guys should get puppets. It seems like every other channel and, you know. Yeah, you guys got great Saturday morning shows in England. Yeah, you, you know, just need puppets. puppets. Like the, the MTV puppet. Hello! You know, something yeah, like, that would like be good. That. That'd be cool. Maybe you'd like to do that. I'd have sex with it, but I wouldn't, <laughs> you know. I now, let's, let's talk about the new album, um, Shampoo it. Horn, exactly. which, um, what That's is exactly like is a shampoo horn? Right there, we have the visual aid for you. Of course, Ahmed is minus his uh, ability to have a shampoo horn at this stage, but because I thought Nair was a shampoo one day. Mistake. <laughs> Don't try that at home, kids. Basically, you um, lather up your hair, you spike it towards the heavens, et voila. Shampoo horn, very exciting. So why is that appropriate for an album title by you guys? Well, you don't know? Well, no one told you? And you didn't know from you? It, it's a birthright that everyone should know this. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, uh, it's, it's, it's it skipped a few generations in England. I don't know I, how that happened. But basically... I think it's a bit lost on us, actually. Okay, well, let me just tell you that we, we formed the band Z. Ahmet and I decided to collaborate mm. to a much larger extent. Mm. And... Uh, and because we like to have fun with everything we do, and because the band has a sense of humor, but we're not like comedy music, we're not Weird Al Yankovic or something, we, uh, we felt that the most appropriate way to show off the new band Z, or Z, as you would say here, was in the fine cartoon light that we envision ourselves. Wouldn't you say that's the biggest lie I've ever told? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. As you said, you're not a comedy band. There are some more serious songs on the album. We, we've touched on a few issues, but um, we're definitely not a band that, that preaches or anything. I mean, we've, we talk about a few things that come up in conversation in anybody's home, you know? I mean, there's one song called Them, which is dedicated to the women of the world because it's a pro-choice, you know, song about women who just basically should control their lives, their body, it has nothing to do with politics, you know, government, church, any of that, it's a stay out. And then there's so. other serious songs in the album, like Kids Cereal. About which, the most important meal of the day. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, because if you don't have, like, if you don't wake up and have your, your right. cereal in the morning, especially if you're a little tyke, like all of you are out there, because this is a family show, um, you know, you might be very depressed, and there's this oh, one you, cereal, no there's this one cereal in the States that is so dangerous to eat that I think it's being currently banned from the shelves, and that's oh, yeah. what we sing about. It's... You know, it's, you should check it out. It's pretty cool. Rex Krispies. Yeah. But anyway. So have your three Weetabix instead yeah. in the morning. All right, well, we're going to talk to Dweezil and Amet a little bit more in just a moment. But right now, we're going to check out the Z Band. As Dweezil said, the net band is now called the Z on, Band. On stage? On stage at the Dynamo Festival. We and uh, we'll see them back after this.
She's a brick. Girl in the third row. Ow. Now, uh, Dweezil, a question for you, actually. Um, you know, you, you seem to have so many talents, producing, acting, musician. Oh, yeah. You know, have oh. you decided to concentrate on the music side of things for the foreseeable future? Yeah. Yeah, basically. Isn't that your favorite answer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. That's, that's yes. Uh, yeah. No, I think that's the, that's the stuff that I have the most fun doing. It's the most creative thing because you can come up with something from absolutely nothing. It's an idea that first lives in your head and then suddenly the whole world can experience the trauma. And what about the, um, you had some guests on the record, um, mainly, mainly drummers, right? Yeah. And tell us a little bit about them. Well, basically what had happened was when we decided to do the record, um, we didn't have a drummer and I, I had so much material. Uh, we had about 54 songs and I gave uh, different drummers some songs to listen to and learn rather than having one guy learn 54 songs. You know, we had Terry Bozio came in and played and um, a guy named Tal Bergman who plays with Billy Idol and there's uh, several other guys, even a guy from the Doobie Brothers, wow. Keith Knudsen. So, I mean, it's different drummers and it, it gave the whole record a, a zesty uh, appeal. I mean, yeah. it really, you take a bite of that music and you get all these, Tabasco. yeah, these, these musical flavors that just uh -huh. give your mouth the most Zing. Mm, it's it's fabulous. Literally the most excruciating album and to listen to. water makes its own sauce. Where have I heard that before? I okay, don't know. So um, after the Dynamo Festival, what are your plans for the next few weeks? Party! Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we're rushing off to uh, Germany next. Right. The excitement that happens in Germany for us. We're playing with Freak of Nature. You know, my I think I'll be well accepted in Germany with this oh, look dude, I got you're, going. You're the pinup boy, are you That's kidding? That's right. That's right, and especially because I like to do that Silence of the Lambs vagina dance. It's really important that, that the kids at home see that. And practice that because uh -huh. that's a safety feature. Yeah. In case of emergency, pull your pants down, tuck the wiener between the legs, and dance. <laughs> So, well, thank you very much for uh, that little bit of advice there. Thanks for joining us on the Headbangers Ball. And uh, you mentioned there that you're going to be out with Freak yeah. of Nature. Well, after the next break, we are actually going to be talking to Freak of Nature, one what of your label mates. I challenge Freak of Nature. I challenge them to a rock and roll boxing match, man. <laughs> They're going down because I am the ultimate warrior. Whoa. Oh my god. All right, we better take that commercial break right now and then we'll see you back after that for Freak of Nature, the lovely Mike Tramp introducing oh, yeah. his band. So see you there for more as the uh, Dynamo action continues. Yeah,